Hi guys, today we are going to discuss Cambridge Primary Checkpoint, Science, Paper 2, Paper Code 0846-02, Class Paper, October 2021, for 45 minutes. So let's get started from question number 1. First, we'll scroll all over the question, so you may take a screenshot if you open this through your computer and pause the video and use for practice this is question 1a this is it, 1a let me take a screenshot and let's move to question number 2 1b and there's a table, so I'll zoom out so you may take a screenshot of the whole table. This is 1B, and this is 1C, 1C, question 1C. Let's move to number 2. This is it, number 2. Now we'll move to number three. So this is a puzzle. All right, number three. Let's move to number four. And let me zoom in. This is number four question. And let's move to number five. And this is number six. And let's move to number 6B, 6B, this is 6A and B. And let's move to number 7A, this is 7B, 7B. And this is question 8. This is question number nine. This is question number nine. And so this is question number nine. And this is question number ten. Question eleven. Question twelve. A, B, and C. Now this is question number 13, let me zoom out, the whole question of number 13, this is question number 14, and this is question number 14 A and B. Then let's move to question number 15. The introduction, this is the question. The whole page of question number 15. And this is question number still 15, A and B. Here we go, A and B. Now let's move to question number 16, this is the graph, and 16 A, B, C, A, B, C, D, and let's move to question number, so this is the last question, number 16. So you may pause this video for a while to do for self-practice then. Now let's see the discussion together from number one. This is number one. 
Oliver has two groups of animals. Group A, a bat, butterfly, duck. Group B, earthworm, dog, cat, tiger. Write down one feature that Oliver uses to put the animals into these two groups. Well, we can see that group A, all animals have wings. Group B, they don't have wings. So we just answer that animals with wings in group A and no wings in group B. So we, our first answer is simple. Question B. Look at these animals. Gorilla, snail, snake, frog, horse. Oliver put these animals into two groups. Complete the table. Two have you done for you. Group C is frog. Group D is snake. Frog and snake here. Snake and frog. So we can see that frog have legs. Snake. They don't have snake. They don't have legs. So we group this into animals with legs and no legs. So gorilla has legs. We put gorilla to group C. And also horse have legs. Snail. They don't have legs. So we put there. So that is our answer. Frog, horse, gorilla. They all have legs. Well, Group D, snake and snail, they don't have legs. Now let's move on to next question. Write down the feature that Oliver uses to put the animals into these two groups. Well, the answer will be animals with legs in group C and animals without legs in group D. Question 2. Mixtures are separated using different methods. Draw a line between each mixture and its separation method. Mixture iron powder and aluminum powder, sand and salt, salt solution, salt, sand and water, lumps of marble and powdered marble. Well, method of separation will be the choices are dissolve in water and filter, use a magnet, burn the mixture, evaporate a mixture, melt mixtures, shift the mixture and filter the mixture so we have to match them correctly iron powder and aluminum powder iron is attracted to magnet while aluminum is not so we should use magnet sand and salt sand and salt sand is dissolved in water and while no i mean salt is dissolved in water while sand does not dissolve in water so we can dissolve this mixture in the water salt will be dissolved well sand will not be dissolved so we just dissolve in water and filter so we'll get the sand separated salt solution we can evaporate salt solution so the water will be evaporated and we get the crystal of salt sand and water sand and water will be Sand is not dissolved in water, so we just filter the mixture. Lumps of marble and powdered marble. It is different particle size. One is lumps, one is powder, so we just shift the mixture. That will be our answer. So if you have any question, you may write in the comment section. If you open this video through Susan Hira YouTube channel, we will surely reply to you as soon as possible. Other further explanation. Now let's move to question three. Complete the crossword puzzle. Choose one down weight is measured in two down weight is a type of three across mass is measured in. Let's see the whole puzzle. This is it. So clues. Weight is measured in new. Tons. Weight will be measured in Newton. Weight is a type of is a type of force. And mass is measured in kilogram. 
this is it this is our puzzle done so this is the answer for number three all right let's move to next number next number number four the parts of a plant have different function draw a line from each part to its correct function flower is for reproduction leaf is to take in light to capture the sunlight root is to take in water and stem is to transport water so we our answer for this now number five copper sulfate is a blue solid that dissolves in water Complete these sentences about copper sulfate dissolving in water. Choose words from the list. Insoluble, soluble, solute, solution, solvent. Copper sulfate is a is copper sulfate is soluble in water. It's soluble in water. Here. Copper sulfate dissolves in water to form a blue solution. Water is the solvent. Because water dissolves copper sulfate and, co and copper sulfate is the solute, something that is dissolved in the solvent. So, this is our answer copper sulfate is soluble in water, copper sulfate dissolves in water to form a blue solution. Water is solvent, and copper sulfate is the solute. Next is a question about the platypus has features that are suited to its abated. Big, big, web, feet, thick fur. Complete the sentences. The platypus has thick fur to. The platypus has web feet to help it. Well, thick fur. Mostly used to help them stay warm underwater. This thick fur and web feet to help it paddle through the water. Question B. Complete the sentences. The platypus is camouflaged to help it. Blank. The platypus has a big, big tube. Well, platypus is camouflaged to help it hide from predators, of course. And the platypus has a big, big tube. Navigate underwater and detect movement of other animals. Now we are in question 7. These words are about light. Draw a line from the words to the correct meaning. Opaque reflects shadow. Dark shape that appears on a surface when light is blocked. Material that light lets light pass through. Material that stops light going through. What happens to light when it hits mirror? So shadow, shadow, dark shape, shadow that appears when light is blocked. Reflect. This is what happened when two light when it hits mirror opaque is material that stops light going through. Well, this will be for transparent. So that's our answer. Let's move on to next one. one. Savia is looking at the flower. How Savia sees flower? Explain. We have three marks here to explain. Well, we can see that Savia uh, see the flower because the sun, the sun produces the ray, rays of light that hit the flowers, that hit the flower, and the light rays bounces off the flower and travels into Savia's eyes. That's how we. Explain that how Savia sees the flower. Now let's move on to the next question. Question 8. Yuri learns about how sounds travel in different materials. Take the correct box to show if the sentence is true or false. Sounds travel in air. Yes, sounds do travel in air. Sounds does not travel in water. No, it's false. Sounds also travels in water. Sounds travel in solid. Yes, true. Sound does not travel in vacuum. Yes, because sounds need medium to travel. So that's it. That's why we don't hear anything in outer space because it's silent. There's nothing. Sound does not travel in vacuum. 
let's move to question 9 force make objects move draw one arrow on each picture to show the direction of the force start the arrow from the large dot this dot in each picture one has been done for you the ball is kicked so we put arrow here now the weights are lifted so we put arrow up there the box is pulled by the boy so we put the arrow there the troll is pushed by the girl so we move the arrow there the hands are moved together so now we put the arrow there so one hand is exerting force against the other hand and the girl pushes on the wall so this will be like this okay yeah, that's it so this question the direction of force now number 10 this Diesel is a liquid fuel used in engines of some motor cars and trucks. Diesel evaporates slowly at room temperature. Write down what happened during evaporation. The liquid fuel changes into gaseous state during evaporation. That will be our answer for 10A. Question 10B suggests one way to increase the speed of evaporation. Well, we can increase the surface area. So you increase the evaporation or we can increase the temperature. It will increase the speed of evaporation. So this answer for this one may be very. If you are not with your answer, you may write down in the comment section. We will surely verify with you and reply to you soon. So this is our answer for about the kidney machine. The kidney machine filters alcohol's blood by removing waste and toxins. After that, it pumps the clean blood back into her body. Now let's move to question 12. Look at the list of materials property. Material A, B, and material G. Is it hard? Is it flexible? Is it transparent? Is it a liquid at room temperature? Question A till C. Which two materials are C true? Which material is water? Material E is suitable to make clothes. Write down the best two reasons why material E is suitable to make clothes. So if we see from here, C true, that means it's transparent. There is this, and there is this, so it will be D and F, D and F. And then, which material is water? So which material water is? Transparent, so it must be one of either D or F. Let's see another data. Is it flexible? Is it hard? Water is not hard. So we have to choose D. D is water because water is liquid, that's room temperature. So D. Next. Uh, material e is suitable to make clothes two be best two reason for clothes we need so this is material e is it hard not is it flexible yes is it transparent no uh, a liquid at room temperature no so can we wear liquid clothes so the important is it is 
flexible and it's not hard it is flexible and it's not hard that is the best two properties why material is able to make clothes but that will be our answer it is not hard it's flexible we are in question 13. The sun appears to move across the sky during a day in summer. The diagram shows different positions of the sun. This is the surface of the earth. Here are some sentences about the sun. Draw a line from each sentence to true or false. Let's zoom out. Yes, this is it. So, it is midday when the sun is highest at the sky. It will be correct here. Yeah, midday. This is the midday. So, it will be correct. True. The sun goes down in the west. It's true. The sun from the east go down to the west. In winter, the sun is lower in the sky than in summer. Well, it should be correct. In winter, the sun moves in opposite direction. It should be false. Now, let's take a look in why in winter the sun is lower in the sky than in the summer. Well, this is the pictures of the position of the sun in summer and in winter. And we can see that in here, that this is summer, the sun is higher. In winter, the sun is much lower. And the heat is more spread in here than compared to here. So that's why it's less. Uh, sun uh, ray that heat the earth that's why become cold in winter in winter the part of earth that experience winter this part is tilted away from the sun a bit further that's why it becomes a uh, colder and during winter the sun's ray heat the earth at shadow angle okay let's move on to next topic now we are in question 14 Mike investigates the germination of seeds. Mike puts filter paper and cotton wool into six dishes. Add water. Put 15 seeds into each dish. Add water to three of the dishes. Put the dishes in different places. Let the dishes after four days. Dish, seeds, filter paper, cotton wool. Here are his results. A, B, C, D, and you F and condition water the difference is cold room or warm room with light or in the dark number of seeds germinated after four days you can see all with water they all germinated two and ten while the one with no water no water no seeds germinated well, let's see the question Mike did not write down his result in dish B. Here are his results for dish B. How many seeds germinated in dish B? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It will be 12. Let's move on. Which conditions are needed for germination? Then we can see that it needs water and it needs warmth. It's not light, not dark, cold, not so. One that germinate is that's water and warm room. This is twelve. While in the cold room is just two. So less. So we need warm to germinate. Let's move on to question fifteen. There are craters on the surface of the moon. Blessy investigates how craters are made. Blessy smooths. The surface of sand in a tray drops a stone into the sand. Measure the size of the crater the stone makes in the sand. Repeats the method, dropping the stone from different heights. Repeats measurements for each height. Here is the uh, experiment, the diagram, sand, tray, stone, and blessing. Here are her result height of drop in centimeter, size of crater in millimeter, Measure for drop one and measurement for drop two. Lazy did two times drop one and drop two. What equipment does Lazy use to measure the size of the crater? It will be a ruler to measure the size of crater. Lazy changes the height of the drop. 
write down two factors Blessy keeps the same in her investigation there are two points we have to write down here the answer for this may vary one of it is the size of the stone and the type of the sand she has to use the same type of the sand and the same size of the stone so if you have any other answer please feel free to write in the comment section we will clarify with you if you doubt with your answer this is the last question for today the rajiv dissolve a fertilizer in water he recuts the mass of fertilizer that dissolves in 5 cm cube of water rajiv makes measurement at six different temperatures he shows his results in a graph this is it Question A. Rajiv wants to make his results more reliable. So just two ways he can make his results more reliable. We have two points to mention in here. Well, the answer can be repeat the experiments to make sure it is consistent. And number two is we can stir the mixture with the same speed. So it will be a fair experiment. Or you can even answer uh, at the interval of temperature up to 60 70 and measure the mass that dissolve in water so this is the example question for number two for question 16a one and two question b describe the pattern of his results as we can see from the graph as the temperature increases the mass dissolved in grams also increases this is a uh, the graph line is increasing here this will be our answer. The mass of fertilizer dissolved in 5 ml of water increases as the temperature increases. Now let's move to question C. Question C, what mass of fertilizer is dissolved in 5 cm cube of water at 30 degrees Celsius? And question D, predict the mass of fertilizer that dissolved at 60 degrees Celsius. If we see from the graph at 30 degrees Celsius, let's zoom, uh, zoom in this graph. At 30 degrees, it should be going here going this way and it should be going to 28 so it's 28 gram will be the answer for this one 28 grams 28 grams question d predict the mass of fertilizer that dissolve at 60 degrees celsius well this is 50 50 will be here it will be 30 and 50 is 33 grams so it will be at 60 we can add two or three grams it will be 36 or 35 so you may answer 36 gram or 35 gram so this is the end of our discussion i'll scroll up from the beginning so we may take the screenshot of all the mark scheme okay this is the answer for question 1a this is the answer for question 1b and c and this is the answer for question 2 This is the answer for question 3A, B, C. This is the answer for question 4. This is the answer for question number 5. This is the answer for question number 6A and 6B. And this is the answer for question number 7a. This is 7b. And this is question number 8. And this is the answer for question number 9. This is number 9. This is the answer for question number 10. This is the answer for question number 11. And this is the answer for question number 12a, b, and c. And next is question number 13. Let's move to question number 14. This is our answer for 14a and 14b. And this is the answer for question number 15a b and next is the last question for today is question number 16 this is the answer a b 
and this is C and D. So that's all for today. So today we have discussed science checkpoint February 3, October 2021 for primary level with the code 0846-02. Please check links in the description by clicking this triangle button at the right bottom corner. Under this video, if you open through Susan Hira YouTube channel, you'll see all other useful links and a lot of resources free and available. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be the first to be notified when we release our news update covering all the past paper as well as other interesting topics. Like and share to anybody who might need it because it's absolutely free. So today's discussion is conducted with study revision online. We cater for all these programs. If you have any unsolved past paper, you can you can email to this and we will see what we can do to help you. And if you have any question, idea, advice, input, or even critics or comment, please write down your comment section in the comment section in this video. We will surely reply to you. Bye-bye. We hope that it will be helpful to you and God bless you.